Hello everyone and welcome back to our Champions of Meandir gameplay video series. I'm Alvin, the designer and game director for Champions, and today I'm here with Nick for another 1 vs 1 game. If you're new here and want to learn how to play this game, check out our Learn to Play Champions of Meandir video playlist. Link to it will be in the video description. If you're interested in joining us for a future episode, feel free to reach out and let us know in the comments. You can also leave a comment to help us improve or just to tell us what you'd like to see next. Okay, let's go ahead and introduce the decks that we'll be playing today, starting with Nick. All right. Today I'm running Mauricio, the gloomy poet. His, his poem today is about sort of a revolution, an, an uprising. Mm. And uh, it, it, he's, he's not really great at running a revolution, so he doesn't really know what it's about. He's kind of a young guy, a little idealistic. So um, it might be a little, might be a little bungling going on here, but um, that's the general idea. <laughs> uh, artists always have a problem with authority. Yeah. All right, today I'll be playing Nile, Loyal Protector. My idea for this deck is that Nile is taking a break from transporting people through dangerous lands. This time, he's going to focus strictly on transporting items. So let's see if I can get there today by making some high-value deliveries. That's it for the intros. Mulligans have been completed. Let's begin the game. All right, I'm first. We'll gain our gold for a turn. Drop. Ye old City of Light. <sighs> oh, All right, I'll take a look at the top card why doesn't each player draw a card you draw on your card yes, over there so i would draw a card but because my hand is full i have to put it back on top of my deck but at least i get to see it so, all right you know to, to fuel the energy of this revolution they need to know their history so we're going to play the history education and uh then take a free draw and i think i'm going to drop a different location research vessel mm. and abandon Kalnea. <laughs> So you don't get the bonus. Draw one. Well, I know what's on top of my deck, and I'm not worried, so... All right. Well then, in that case, you can take it and go. All right, so thankfully seeing what's on top of my deck, it may actually change what I do this turn, because uh, this was looking like maybe a hand reset, but now that I know what's on top, I actually think I'm going to keep it around. So let's see. Uh, for my one gold for turn, I'm going to go ahead and drop... A schedule book and then i will take my free draw i'll go ahead and play my location wall path and i'm going to go ahead and activate its arrival ability to take a look at the next card uh i do not think that's a good idea to take right now given my hand so i'll put that at the bottom and i'll pass it over to you sweet second turn two gold face counter i'll play a Hidden Waterfall for now, just so I can take a free draw. A Merchant Vessel. Whoa, there's a lot of ships. Yeah. They need some transportation to, to run this. Interesting. There's like a worldwide here. revolution, huh? Something like that. Okay, and then my two gold play is to play Inspire Devotion. Um, <sighs> okay, pretty good in the Mauricio deck. Not bad, not bad. I will use History Education to draw a card. I guess since I have a vessel out, I'm, I'm never going to activate this twice, I don't think. So we'll abandon research vessel, draw one more. So many They're pretty draws. good. Yeah. Turning through. So it's a lot of what I drew, but uh, I think that means that that's all I can do, and we'll pass the turn. All right, turn two. Get my goal for turn. Let's see here. OK, so I'm not going to use my free draw yet. I'm going to go ahead and activate my supply cache, spending one gold to gain two gold. Draw a card, and then lose the supply cash. All right. And now I'm going to go ahead and play Raise Funds for two gold. Uh, when it resolves, gains me three gold, so I go up to four gold. And then now I'll go ahead and use my free draw. Normally, I think this would not be a good play in a free-for-all, but in a 1v1, I think this is a pretty good play. So I'm going to go ahead and play Nile, my champion. One, two, three. And then I'm going to activate his ability to give the two abilities this can't be taken, and when you begin your turn, score four points to this schedule book. Niall is on a mission to deliver this schedule book through dangerous lands. Hopefully he can do it. Hopefully my item doesn't get turned into art or anything like that. But yeah, <laughs> I think that's a pretty good turn to play. Pass it over to you, Nick. Well, I wasn't normally going to play it, but if, if I knew Niall was coming, maybe I would have. Mm. In the gold for turn, and then our phase counters go up, and I will drop... Uh, supportive friends. Well, maybe I won't do that. Oh, now I know you have one in your hand. Uh, they'll be ardent, so it's it's kind of okay. 
Yeah, we'll drop a support of friends. Yeah, exactly. They're Google. ardent. Yeah. I will use the Inspire Devotion campaign to make them ardent. Yep. Just a little reminder for that. I will uh, take a free draw. Mm -hmm. Drop a decorated path. Look at the top one card. Bottom that. I will take a draw from History Education. Uh, and I think what I'll do is I will play Mauricio mm -hmm. for one gold. And in a grand theater, <laughs> one more draw. So, you know, this uprising, there's not a lot of individuals in the movement yet, but it's getting a lot of attention. I mean, look at all the draw one, draw one, draw one. The media is it's, it's on it. So more coming soon, I think. Yeah, they may have hyped this up ahead of time. They oh. maybe should have been out doing some work before <laughs> getting all this attention. Is maybe how this should have worked ideally, but <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll see if they can't pull back from this. And yeah, th those are all my actions for the turn. Uh, so I think we'll pass. All right. Taking my third turn, get my three gold and the schedule book. I mean, despite the civil unrest and the uprising going on, seems like Niall has been able to navigate and he's a little bit closer to the destination where this schedule book is supposed to go. So I'm going to go ahead and score four points. So yeah, turn three, you got three gold. I think I'm going to take this opportunity to double down on protection. I'm going to play guard dogs so that my items can't be attacked. So that'll maybe help my thing last a little longer. I'll go ahead and take my free draw. And then that's all I can do for turn, I think. I don't think I want to turn Nile hostile. Purple has got a lot of really nasty hostile punishers. Um, even blues is no joke, really. So yeah, I think I'll just pass like that. All right, in our gold and our phase counters for the turn. So uh, this turn off, I'm going to start with a hired spy for three gold. Oof. All right. And he's going to gain some information for the movement. I yeah. Will look at your hand. Now you know all my secrets. Workmates. Yeah, you have lots of items. You're going to come down one by one, I expect, and be untouchable, especially with that other guard dogs in your hand. Yeah, now you know I have two of them. Well, you know, when you're in an impossible situation, there is always the option of racing. Can you score more points? I am thinking about that. Yeah, faster than I can. That's not going to happen. We'll, we'll, we'll do our best. So we will take the uh, card from the hard spy. Yes. We'll play a decorated path to view the <laughs> top card. So much media coverage. Look at all the draw. And we'll bottom that. And we'll take a, a free draw. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm going to miss out on so many draws this turn. I guess that's okay. Okay, so Inspire Devotion will give Hard Spy Ardent. Uh, yeah, give this reminder. Okay, so Support of Friends is going to activate. Mm -hmm. uh, next time I gain a, a point this turn, or I will gain that many plus two instead, and they will start making an attack into the dogs, yeah. knowing that there's more dogs on the way, but it happens. So uh, they will be gone until the end of turn. Let's just imagine that they're gone. Yeah, we can uh, put this marker here just to remind ourselves. Yeah. They're technically in the inactive zone, but you can leave them here just to make it easier on Nick so he doesn't have to dig through his inactive zone and put them back. Well, shortcuts. No, yeah. nobody's hurt. So yeah, we'll gain four points from Mauricio. Two plus two. And uh, I'm sort of tied on board, but I know there's more coming and I'm kind of spooked. But that's, uh, that's what my turn is going to look like. So then they do return. All right, they're no longer they're no ardent. Longer ardent. Turn four, get my goal for turn, and schedule book has made it another turn. I'll go ahead and score four more points. So yeah, you've got supported friends now, and they're not ardent anymore. Do I want to attack into them? Okay, so I think in this case, I do want to chance it. Niall's going to go ahead and attack into the supportive friends while they're not ardent. He'll take two damage and become hostile, but I think it's probably worth it. This turn, I only have four gold. I can't do everything I want to do and play the guard dogs. If you do discard them through some kind of discard effect, that's going to be bad for me. But I think at this point, I want to go faster than I want to go safer. So let's go fast. Let's decide here what I want to do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play obstructive roadblock. And I'm going to have obstructive roadblock lock down this location here. So you cannot activate it. And then I'm going to spend one more gold to activate Nile again, to give the Nile abilities to this obstructive roadblock. So now I'll be scoring eight points each turn. For two gold, I'm gonna play and activate marked map to 
fetch myself some blue alignment. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the quiet path, shuffle and lose that. And then I'll go ahead and play the quiet path, looking at the top card. Uh, do I want that? No, now is not the time for that. All right, so now I will use my free draw, draw a card. Do my guard dogs want to attack? Okay, so guard dogs, definitely, I, I want them as safe as possible. I don't think I want to turn them hostile. Uh, I'm just in the business of scoring eight points next turn. That that would be sweet. So I'll go ahead and pass over to you, Nick. Yeah, I, mean, I think you might get there. Um, interesting about the blue alignment, I didn't... Unless I misremember, I don't think I saw any in your hand at the time. I did have a, hist I did have a history education. Oh, did you? Okay, yeah. I glossed over that. Uh, yeah, uh, this my own history education should have been gone, so let's just... Oh, Which yeah, right good now. catch. I wonder if you're uh, running yeah. displaced. That would be amazing in this situation. We'll see, we'll see. All right, I'll tick up my goal, gain a phase counter. Nice. And i uh, got to start with what's in my hand, because there's no space. I'm drawing one too many cards. By one, I mean many. Uh, let's maybe rectify that with a Junila's Curiosity first. Oh, that's a good one to have when you have too many cards. Yeah. Unfortunately, it'll be another turn, and that may be too late. Well, I suppose I should just take a free draw hmm. before I think any further. Okay. Uh, we'll make an attack of the mm -hmm. Hired Spy into the Guard Dogs. Yep. And they'll trade. Uh, they will do the same thing as last turn. They will lose their Ardent and be technically on for a bit. I'll gain two points, uh, but we'll just leave them there for a second. And then I will have uh, Inspire Devotion give Ardent to Mauricio. Mm -hmm. And that's done. And then the revolution continues with even more ardent denizens. Mm. This one permanently ardent for two gold. One more gold. I will search my hidden waterfall here. Yep. And uh, so let's pass and hope for the best. Yeah. All right. Turn five. I'll go ahead and score eight huge points now because I've got two items that are successfully making it to my turn. All right. And then I will go ahead and draw for turn. All right, so this is now in play. And it's no longer Ardent, but it is Perceptive. So definitely will not want to attack into either of these guys. All right, so let's go ahead and play Restraining Order. Have Niall put his ability onto that for one gold. And then for my last three gold, you already knew I had this, Guard Dogs. Yeah. All right, and then I'll pass yeah, it like that dogs. and see if that's good enough to take it. We'll see. Do our best. Yeah. So yeah, we'll gain our gold and our phase counters for the turn. Take a free draw. Really help. Don't interact with items too well. What can I do more? I don't think there's any amount of damage I can get through to all of your, your items. Mm. Uh, we'll, we'll activate Junila's Curiosity and put this on the bottom of my deck. I will abandon a location. Let's make a decorated path. Draw one. Now things are cheaper. Uh, we'll put counter on Hidden Waterfall just so I can do more things. But there might be something. I'm going to outmaneuver for one. Oh, your dogs. look at that. All right. We're gaming. Still very, very low power on board. Yes. Oh, yeah. You got an interesting choice here. You can either score points or you can try to get me off my win. I have to get you off your win. Actually, there's no way. I well, forgot. You have three. You only need one of them. Yeah, there's no way. So, uh, yeah, the revolution has fizzled as is destined when you're led by a, a poet. The, the aristocracy has won again with all their wealthy items over there, hoarding them. In the... Oh, okay. Well, I guess not this time, Mauricio, but like all good revolutions, they never die, they just slumber. Yep. Maybe next time. All right. So yeah, when you pass it over to me, uh, because I got these three items, all having the ability when I begin my turn, score four points, all I have to do is Simply begin my turn, and I shoot right up to 20 points. Good game. GG's, Nix. So, yeah, I think in this particular game, I got really lucky with the raise funds at the exact right time. And then, yeah, you were not able to draw into any of your item interaction. No displaces, no turn into arts, no rust bombs. So the, the revolution needed some considerations about items. True. Uh... Yeah, it might have made it there. Then didn't have to work through all that protection in the form of double dogs. Uh, but you never know. You know, our, our usual games are multiplayer. So when something like this happens and like we, somebody has a really explosive start with a huge ramp, 
and like some point game really early on, like immediately three people notice it and like I could be uh, have like George on my side helping remove the dogs or Ivan's there to like blow up an item if I don't necessarily have the the means to. So uh, you know if you're if you're pulling out decks uh, and you try them one v one, you know you gotta you gotta have a different mindset towards it. You gotta be able to you know just accept that some sort of explosive turn maybe you can't handle it every time yeah that is absolutely a thing to consider dynamic in 1v1 is very different in free for all good point nick all right well that'll do it for today's episode we hope you had as much fun watching as we did playing before we sign off for today we'd like to remind you that we rely on viewers like you to help our channel grow liking subscribing and sharing are easy and free ways for you to show your support please join us again next week for more champions of meander gameplay bye bye for now